Hi everyone, Norman here. I quickly wanted to come online to show you a super, super simple way to join in another ball. So you may know that there are things like the spit splice where you felt the two ends together. Often that is a little bit difficult if you're working with a super wash yarn and things like the Russian join where you join things together with a tapestry needle are often a little bit more awkward if you're working with a thinner yarn. So here is a super nice alternative. So here's what I do. So this is a two ply yarn but it works at the same for uh, a four ply yarn or so or six ply yarn as well. So I undo the plies for well around three inches eight centimeters or so like so and then I use a scissor and cut away half of it. If you were using a four ply yarn you would do the uh, two ply two strands that you cut away and you do the exact same here on the other end. And now comes the smart trick. So here's what I do. So I just overlap these two ends. And then we let these two sides here realign like roughly, see? So the two ends kind of meet. And then I use a little bit of spit. Doesn't really have to be a lot place this portion in the palm of my hands and just rub things together. So this part here felt. It doesn't really need to be all that secure. And then I do the exact same thing here on the other end as well. You may, uh, if you want to go the extra mile, you could twist um, this loose end around a couple of times before you do that. Then you add a little spit and then you felt that part together as well. And what makes this method here so smart is that the, the strength of this joint really doesn't depend on this felting bit here. This is just to prevent the ends here from sticking out. What adds lends the strength to this joint is here the natural uh, uh, strength of your yarn. So I can really pull uh, on these ends here. This really doesn't matter. Now watch this. Now here comes the super smart bit. So here this felted bit here could still come undone and risk everything else. But as I knit across here, as I knit these two stitches, I'm actually securing that part of the yarn and here the, 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 the same on the other side. So even if this here would come undone, the natural friction of your uh, fabric would keep the join in place. So uh, this is so to speak doubly safe, uh, twice as safe as a normal join. And because you trimmed away uh, these ends here, you don't add any bulk, you don't add any ridges. And uh, I think that's just marvelous. So I knitted across a couple of more rows. This is the result. So can you spot even a single stitch that is slightly enlarged or thicker? I certainly can't. There is no knot, no ridge. The fabric isn't thicker in any spot either here. The same on the other side. There is no ridge, no nothing. And you don't even have to weave in any end. So I think this is probably the smartest, easiest, and most secure way to join in a new ball in knitting. And it works for any fiber that is even slightly feltable. So probably every fiber, every yarn that has a little bit of sheep wool in it. I wouldn't use this method for uh, changing colors because it's very, very hard to time uh, the exact place of the color transition. But if you just want to join in a new uh, ball, this is perfect.
Anyway, please like this video if you enjoyed watching, comment with your questions and of course consider subscribing to my channel if you don't want to miss any new videos. Happy knitting and enjoy the rest of your day!